Hello people, uh, welcome to this edition of Programming Users. Uh, today we're going to uh, cover uh, a beginner uh, topic, okay? About how to get the current date, day, day of week, day of year, and time of day in C Sharp, okay? It's just a simple console application. Uh, we prefer console application to make it easy. So, uh, what we're going to do, just uh, I'm using Visual Studio 2013, go to new, file new, project uh, choose a visual c sharp uh, console application i've already chosen mine now uh, come and say date time we're going to use date time class is equal to date time dot now okay now date time dot now uh, will give us the current date and time what we're going to do we're going to input uh, we're going to output all of those we're going to say console dot rate line okay then we're going to say d dot date that alone will give us uh the current date then after the current date uh we're going to say d dot day okay this will give us the uh, date the day today then uh, d dot day of week okay this will give us uh, the current uh, day of the week then d dot day of year okay the current uh, day of the year and then d dot time of the day okay d dot time of day okay then uh, so so that we can be able to see these things we are going to say console dot read line okay read line will enable us uh, to see uh, all these things because the command from will only exit after we've clicked something okay so guys we can run the program and see for ourselves now you can see uh, the date today okay it is 11th it is monday okay let's just arrange it uh, this is the date today okay d dot date uh, it is 11th it is monday okay it is uh, the day of year is 131st and then uh, the yeah the day of year is 131st and then uh, the time of day is 11 11 zero 02 and then the seconds and the microseconds and whatever so guys uh hope you've enjoyed the tutorial uh it was just a brief one for beginners so please if you like it you can subscribe to our channel programming wizards uh, you can comment on this video you can like it you, uh, and please take care see you in the next tutorial